I know I fell into this hole early on when I was looking, when we were looking at this, when I was looking at it with Lynn Dierking. And we both sort of thought, all right, what's the ideal family adult child interaction? And we envisioned, and we've talked about this before, we envisioned the adults and the child's heads are close together. It's the perfect picture, right? And they're working happily on something. And if you've spent any time around a child at all taking care of one, you know that sometimes the best caregiver you can be is to back off three feet and give them some space. And that's where the activity has to be something that is successful when you're working together, but also successful if I want to do what we call parallel play, what toddlers do. They, when you have play groups, they play beside each other and sometimes look like they're working together and sometimes hit each other with the block, but they're, they're essentially doing their own thing in the same space. So I think there have to, it has to be okay if today it's best with my child if I just back off a little bit and have some fun on my own and we're together and experiencing a similar thing, but we don't necessarily always have to be in that little ideal because it doesn't happen. And it's personalities and it's where people are that day and what's going on in their lives and their age, the child's age, and it's a lot of different things.